Hi everyone, good to see you. I'm Christy Hickey with Magic Mix and we are doing Fluid Art Thursday. Today I have a special little treat for you. It's called a Paint Kiss Pour. And it's a technique that's going around on the internet um, through various fluid art instructors and um, people that just generally love doing fluid art. And um, one of them is Sandra Lett, and I've seen a couple of other ones doing. Hi, Rose. Hi, Aunt Dottie. Good to see y'all. Just got on here and doing a little bit of talking and seeing if um, what's going to transpire today. I'm doing a new technique. And I'll be honest with you, I have not done this technique. So y'all are going to see it live raw. <laughs> I've watched a couple of artists do it, uh, Sandra Lett in particular. So I thought, well, we haven't done it on Magic Mix, so we're it's due. Um, but anyway, the technique is to, that's okay, that's okay. Today I'm late. I had an appointment earlier and um, I didn't want to be stressed about the time, so I, I did the art class a little bit later, which turned out well. But um, I hope you're feeling better, Rose. hate to hear that you're down with the bug um anybody for that matter so we are going to do a technique where you do two dirty cups of paint and dirty cups are several colors mixed together and we're going to take and pour them together at the same time so my thought in my head was to do one side like fire and then the other side like ice so we have fire and ice two contracting con um, elements okay so let's see how that goes I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see the workspace and um, since I'm doing the fluid art I've made myself a little aluminum tray and this is an 11 by 14 canvas. I've already put the little push pins on the back here, one in each corner. And it is level. The canvas feels good. It doesn't have any pointy little tips on it. So I didn't have to do any sanding to it. We are going to mix up a color. So let's do that. Um, this is Apple Barrel Gloss, which is a craft paint. Shake it up real good. And these colors that I'm using today do not have any silicone in them because I didn't want any cells in the pour in this design. And I'm going to pour about an ounce and a half in here and then some Floetrol. Hey Sherry! Oh that was tight! Okay, I'm going to mix about the same amount of Floetrol in here in the paint. And if Floetrol will create some cells, but usually they're not big, and there's not a whole lot of them. Let's see. I, um, <laughs> I cleaned up my space the other day, and I put things back where they belong. Here we go. And I'm having to remember Okay, where does it belong? Where did I do it? What did I do with it? And I'm just going to mix this up to the point where it is a good flow coming off of this stick. And 
and usually a canvas that's 12 inches by 12 inches, which is a square foot, takes approximately five to six ounces of paint. Hey, Mandy, thanks for joining in. Let's see how to tell. Oh, closing the dryer done. All right, so on one side of this cup, we're going to have yellow red and I have some fluorescent orange an empty cup and some other orange and for the other smoothers out for the other cup, I'm going to hold off on using this. So we have red, orange, and yellow. Empty cup. Here's our empty cup for the cool side. And I'm going to use bright blue, which is an apple barrel color. Um, Caribbean which is another apple barrel and spring green. Get that in here. This one. Hey Kelly. Thanks for joining. So here's our cool colors. Here's our warm colors. And I have a few extra green and another aqua and a metallic blue over here if we need it. I would like to layer each color in the cup twice. That's what I'm thinking. And remember the last color you put, the first color you put in your cup is the last color that's going to come out. Um, well, let me ask y'all something. Do y'all like this later in the day time versus the one o'clock time? I know that um, for some of you on central time, if we're one o'clock here in Florida, it would be 12 o'clock your time right at lunch time so I was thinking maybe I'm testing these these have been sitting for a little while and sometimes if, when they sit they get a little thick but I think that's gonna be fine so I'm asking do y'all like having the videos later in the afternoon or is is the one o'clock okay y'all let me know might take a poll later on face on magic mix and see what y'all would like to do all right and I know these would be okay yeah okay so here goes we're gonna start off with um, start off with the warm side first and we'll do we'll put a little bit of white in the bottom and you want to try to have your paint as close to the cup as possible here, I'll do it like that so you can see. I just noticed that you couldn't see that little cup. All right, so let's go with some orange. And we'll put, try to put the same amount of each color in there. 
Well, we're going to go with the red. And I want to layer this twice. Oop. I'm glad that didn't land on the canvas. Trying to cover the previous color there. Hi, Ava. Thanks for joining in. All right, we're going to go with a, um, another round. So this would be our second layer of the same colors. red and y'all know me I would rather have too much paint than not enough I can always make skins out of the paint and that's one reason why I put this aluminum foil down At any runoff I can make skins paint skins and um, use them for jewelry and other artwork. And here is the yellow. These little cups here are five ounces. So theoretically, that five ounces right here ought to cover this whole canvas. But we're going to do some other colors. Let's do the, and hopefully I don't forget putting that in there. Um, let's start off with the darker blue. This is bright blue, really pretty color. It's got some punch to it. All right, and then we'll go with the spring green. Oh, I like those two colors together. Now this is Caribbean. Which could be for better contrast, and that's what I'm going for is contrast between the colors. Um, it could be a little bit lighter, and I would have been happier with it, but that's okay. All right, let's do um, another layer of bright blue. And I'm putting about the same amount of each color in, and the green, spring green. Coloring the previous color. Caribbean.
Okay. Aren't those pretty? Pretty, pretty colors, both of them. Kind of looks like sand. You remember sand art? That was real popular when I was a kid. I'm gonna stand up for this. <laughs> that way I'll have a little bit better control. Put the lids back on. And I'm gonna put a base coat on the canvas. And I'm thinking maybe white would be a good choice. Move this stuff out of the way. We're just going to put a thin layer. Getting kind of low, and we'll have to mix some more of this up. We'll have to have a paint mixing day. All right, this is just a little plastic smoothie. They come in a three pack. Costs just a couple dollars. I'm just going to smooth this over. I want to run it on the sides. This will help your paint flow easier than trying to run over a rough canvas. Having this base coat on here will help the paint to slide. And if you ever want to have classes, please feel free to message me or uh, email me, whatever is easiest for you, or give me a call. I think my phone number is on my web page and also on Magic Mix Facebook. So I'm not that difficult to get in touch with. I can do jewelry classes. Those make great bridesmaid class getting married and you want to do something for your bridesmaid you know hold them a jewelry class and we can put it all together they pick out the colors and the design and assemble their own jewelry it's um a fun time and i just want to make sure that there's a good coat on the sides here here we go um, Sweet 16 birthday parties, that's another one that is um, good for jewelry, jewelry classes. All right, here we go. This is, um, is going to be interesting. Like I said, I've not done this technique before, so y'all are going to see it live. And we are going to put the two cups slightly together and pour at the same time. So you kind of like doing a ring pour. A lot of that Caribbean blue color. All right here comes some of the spring green. The yellow is coming out. Comes more of the dark blue. And the red. Whew. 
That was nervous. <laughs> I was nervous. So can y'all see that? So we have our hot colors here, cool colors on the left side. I would like to, I don't want to stretch it too much, but I do want to get the canvas covered. So I'm going to do this slowly. Bring it back. Oh, it did go over the side. It's going over the side there too. That's okay. I'm kind of disappointed that there's not a whole lot of the um, dark blue, the bright blue. Would have been nice to have had some of that, more of that color show up. Okay, I'm going to let that set for a minute and let's see what happens. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. So, I could... I really don't want to stretch the color or the design. to go off the corners. Because um, I like I like the circle part. I really like that. And I'm concerned if I spread it over the corners, it's going to lose that circle. So, just wondering there's a little bit of paint in here and a little bit of paint in here I could do a ribbon pour Okay, that worked out nice. That worked out pretty good. Oh, Sherry says it looks like the ocean and the sunset. Oh, that's that sounds pretty. Okay, we'll turn it this way and pour the red over here on this side. And hopefully I have enough paint in here to do this with. If not, we'll be making some more. has a lot of the white. I think we're going to be mixing some more because it is not wanting to come out. Kind of like the thinner, the thinner lines though. That's kind of neat. All right, so 
that's for that and I'm gonna have to mix up some more of this um, hot colors and the blue I have a little bit more in here let's see how far I can go with it Come on, come on, come on, come on. I could probably stretch it. Yep. We'll have to make some more of that color too. So I have two small cups here. Hey Bonnie, thanks for joining. We have a great class today. I really appreciate y'all um, tuning in. Uh, let's see if I can remember how we did that. We did white, orange, white, orange, and red, and then the yellow. So I'm gonna do the orange. I have to use this color orange. I just want a little bit just to cover these corners. So it's not going to need a whole lot. Okay, then we went with red. And then with yellow. Don't you just love this bright yellow? And I think that's the name of it too, bright yellow. Okay, now I might have to I'm gonna mix this. What I'm going to do here, since the colors, I'm just going to intermingle it just a little bit. There. And we're going to pour over here on this side. this out of the way so y'all can see the other colors haven't come out yet So I'm learning a little bit here. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Okay. Are y'all having as much fun as I am doing this? Let's see, we had um, spring green and bright blue and the Caribbean. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> so let's see. Blue and green 
Let's see. There, that way. So I want enough to do this here and touch up over here. I'm not going to put any white in it. Mix them up a little bit. I didn't do that to the original because it was a lot of paint and I knew I was going to end up pouring it all out that eventually all the colors would come out. But with this little bit, as you saw here, there was a lot of yellow and um, I wasn't really shooting for that much yellow. So we'll see here what happens and I don't want the lines to be wavy see a lot of blues coming out now the green It's getting slower and slower, running out of paint. Come on, give me a blue line in there. It's being hard headed. I really would like to have a blue line in there. Got it. Well, there you have it. First, my first paint pour, paint kiss pour. That's how you say it. Paint kiss pour. So I think the, um, Good rule of thumb would be to make sure that you have contrasting colors and the two cups, the two colors touch each other when you're pouring like this and don't have too much coffee because <laughs> you need a steady hand. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks everybody for tuning in today and um, hopefully this will dry the way that it is and um, I'll take a picture of it tomorrow morning I do say though that there's some beautiful colors down here I don't know if y'all can see this but there are some really pretty designs on the aluminum foil that's going to make some gorgeous looking spring and summer jewelry so that'll be nice too gonna have some more of that stuff coming up soon 
Thank you, everybody. Does anybody have any questions? Really appreciate y'all hanging out with me. All right. Hugs to everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.